Hello, 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 hello. As you can see, Bowtie Bill is pouring me a drink. <laughs> yeah, I, had to, I got the mic away from me. Hello, hello, hello. You see, Bowtie Bill is pouring me a drink, man. Yeah, I'm gonna need a drink because this gonna be <laughs> this gonna be a tough episode. But before we get into it, man, I'm your host Shatan Neal, man, from this podcast, Tell the Truth Podcast. Twenty three. To my left, man, is my my buddy right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when he cooking for the kids on the grill, because he can cook us behind all, we call him Uncle Billy. Yeah, yeah, oh, really? yeah, 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 yeah. When he gambling and he taking all the money, you know, that's what he be doing, taking all the money when he gambling. His gambling name is Billy Woop Woop. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, when we in studio... I call him Bowtie. I call him BTB. What's that for? Bowtie Bill. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. We got it popping, man, right now, man. Bowtie Bill, before we get started, man, welcome to the Maximize Your Potential studio, Bowtie Bill. Um, tell the people, man, what we need from a Bowtie Bill. Man, we thank you for everything. Continue uh, subscribing to our uh, podcast, as, you know, and hit the like buttons, as well as uh, letting everybody know. Tell your family members and friends the one you like, as well as the one you don't like. You know, and continue uh, commenting in the section. Tell us what you think about what we're doing, where we're going. And we just appreciate everything that you're doing. Thank you, fam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, I'm seeing like, you see a little fade going back there, a little delay, and I kind of like that. Bill, but we got some new little toys. See that? But anyway, that. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I wonder yeah. How, it's uh, one second, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of yeah, like it, though. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. We're looking at some camera stuff. But yeah. check this out. Today, <laughs> we're going to talk about the NFC North and the Chicago Bears preview. So we did one for his team. <laughs> Shy God. Talk to me. What's so funny, man? Cause, cause I, so, go ahead. Get it all out. Get it all out, man. Because we're about to talk about the Chicago Bears, and you really don't want to talk about the Chicago <laughs> Bears. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, my Views God. Views and listeners, I apologize. <laughs> we're going to talk about Chicago Bears. He really don't want to talk about Chicago Bears. Guilty. Well, let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Definitely, 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 definitely guilty. So check this out, man. I'm about to get this set up, man. <laughs> Man, you dirty dog, you. Anyway, um, we're gonna talk about these the NLC North. I'm a little corky coming out. I fix in a minute. We continue and, to apologize in advance, yeah, for, because <laughs> Neil, you know, he could be he may get a little heated, <laughs> a little, god, no, <laughs> he may get a little heated, right? Because he he. Because he, he, he want to bear down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bear down, man. Bear down. To all my Chicago Bears fans, man, y'all know what time it is, man. It's bear down. And um, the new thing we do in Chicago, you know, claws up. That's right. Yeah, Caleb brought Yeah, we got some new shit in Chicago. You know that, did you? No, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Claws up. Yeah, you, yeah, we got a new one. Claws up, bear down. Yeah. Okay, claws gotcha. up, bear down. <laughs> No, okay, no, we, 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 yeah, that's how we doing. We didn't. Okay, we, 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 that's we, new to me. Yeah, we stepping into the two thousand. We okay. got an offense. We got more than just bear down, you know. But yeah, it's called. Uh, you know, it got well, it came well. when yeah, yeah, it came from um Caleb. If you go look at the picture when he got drafted, and he he he's going like this, and then then Rome got drafted, and so they both did the claws up, you know. And so yeah, wow. it's a it's a thing now. Okay, you know, that's catchy. Yeah, it, it, that's it, catchy. It, 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 they asked him when he first did it, like, see, I, when you Google claws up, let me show y'all the camera. If you Google Chicago Bears claws, yeah, it's going to be, boom, that's the picture that went viral in Chicago. Claws up. And I hear, boom, that's the picture that went. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. What, so when they got drafted, boom, okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. That's how they do it, you know. Okay. Yeah. Claws up, bird down. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? We ain't boom, oh, kind so anyway, let's go. we're let's gonna go. talk about this NFC North. Yes, let's go. All right, Bowtie Bill, how I deal with you? The AFC North. <laughs> All right. Well, boy, you laughing already. Man, don't yeah, laugh. yeah, yeah, I'm gonna need man, drink. I'm I can't need wait drink. to get into this, mm -hmm. man. I cannot wait. Boy, you just gonna laugh at my misery. Okay, anyway. So, question. Right off the bat, who's coming to first, second, third, and fourth? And why? And the biggest thing I want you to start off with is what is your biggest wild card? Meaning uh, what can make the the, this one person or this one thing can make the division go this way or this way. What's your biggest wild card? Jordan Love is the wild card. Mm, okay. Jordan Love. Okay. Okay. Uh, young, 
uh, when he first got started last year, he almost got benched. Facts. And then a lot of he came that. back. Right. Yeah. The last eight games, he balled out. Yes. In the playoffs, he balled out. Yeah. So he's wild card. Is he going to have a sophomore slump? Mm-hmm. Although this is his fourth year uh, going into the season, but his second year starting. Is he going to have a sophomore slump in terms of starting? Mm-hmm. Don't know. That's the wild card. That's the biggest wild card for you. Okay. I guess that makes a lot of sense if you ask me. Um, and and to me, my biggest wild card is really kind of weird. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm real. I'm really trying to go back and forth on it. Um, I actually believe in Jordan Love already. My biggest wild card is I can't figure out which one I want to put over the other one, but it's neck and neck between golf for Detroit quarterback and Caleb Williams. And I'm trying to just define, like, which one would be my biggest wild card. And some people might say, why you say golf? Like, well, you know, once everybody's gunning for you and everybody know you're the man, talking about golf, he's got to he's got to repeat that again. But he did – all the offense is coming back, so I will probably will have to lean towards my biggest wild card would be Caleb Williams. How fast can he catch on? Because that's going to really determine – what chance the Bears will probably have of even having a chance to sniff the playoffs? So I would say my biggest wild card would be definitely um, would be Caleb would be Caleb Williams. That would be my. But opinion. how's it gonna be a? In my opinion, I'm mm-hmm. asking the question. Yeah, yeah. How can he be a wild card? He's coming in as a rookie. He definitely a wild. It's gonna card. be. It's gonna be so the game, the speed of the game mm-hmm. is what he has yet to see. Mm-hmm. That's the big. He's the big. That's why he's the biggest wild card because you're going to a team that was seven and ten last year, okay. And then this team has probably, probably most likely between them and the, they just did a lot of good stuff off his line. The Bears probably won the off season this year. I mean, if you look at the moves the Bears made, yes, it's it's fucking kind of ridiculous. Like all yes. joking aside, excuse my language. Yes, the, the moves they made. So now, top three. Yeah, if you only want to say we made the most moves, I ain't been biased. I'm just being okay. Top you three. Can't, you can't deny we top three. Top this three. Season. Yeah, yes, so you top can't three. deny that. That's in the debate. We could debate maybe one Wide or two. Wide receivers. Uh, got line, the running back. Running back. Line. People don't even realize the Wide receiver, we got. Yeah, we uh, got the we um we took the boy from um we got the uh, uh, Detroit. No, I'm talking about the Limers. We we oh, got the ba- ba- we got Balt- we got Buffalo Bills. Uh, uh, offensive lineman, a lot of people don't yes, know that. So uh-huh. now we got a new center. Yes. We got another offensive lineman for another team. So we got a lot of veterans that came in too, mm-hmm. with the go with the young guys. So we, and you got wide receivers. Yeah, I mean, literally at, at running at offensive lineman, we already got eight good linemen. So one of them get hurt this year, it won't be so much of a drop off. We got eight good linemen already. Depth. Yeah, we got depth at lineman position. A lot of people can say that. Okay, you was um, number uh, number one defense the last eight games. Last the eight games. So. That's why I said because of the situation he's coming into, to me this biggest wild card because it, the Bears are not the typical just sorry ass first overall pick. You no, know, we, you know, we're not loaded with talent like other teams, but we're not the sorry ass pick. So I'm, the faster he can jump on and learn what he needs to learn, that's what I say. He the wild card. Now, if for you, who you think gonna win the division? First, second, third, and fourth, and why? I still have Detroit number one. Mm-hmm. Green Bay number two, uh-huh. Bears number three, mm-hmm. and, and the fourth is uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Okay, all right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Me, um, this might sound crazy. Minnesota. You said why? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. why? Because of the experience of the, the head coach. Mm-hmm. They all on the, you know they all on one page. They all on one accord. Detroit is. Mm -hmm. And then you look at Green Bay. Green Bay, everybody is young, and they're on the rise. Mm -hmm. Chicago, I like what they're doing as well. Minnesota going to have – they have a brand-new head coach, second year. Uh, They're going to have a new quarterback, and their defense is on the come, but the fourth in the division. But I I I I like Detroit, what they're doing, where they're headed. Mm-hmm. Should have been in the 
uh, NFC Championship game. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. So yeah. Yeah. To but me, that is why. Yeah. So me, you're gonna probably say, you know, you know, how I am. I'm real big on um, trust. Can I trust you? You know how I am. Uh, just, how, just how I am. Try to get the bear schedule up just because y'all wonder what I'm doing. Um, so I got me personally. Um, I, I got I got Green Bay winning our division. Okay, and the number one reason is because. Um, oh, you telling the truth now, dog? Yeah, I got Green Bay. I, I'm, I'm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it hurts Chicago Green Bay. Yeah, I, and you I, saying Green Bay? Yeah, I got oh, you me. telling the truth? Now. Yeah, I got, I, <laughs> it hurts me to say it, but I got Green Bay winning the division. Okay. Um, the reason why is because I just trust them more, and you know how I am. You know, even with their youth, I trust them more, and I'm explaining to you why. Okay, I trust Green Bay coach over Detroit coach. He takes too many risks. I always want to go for it on Dan the fourth down and all the wild shit. That shit caught up with him a couple times last yes, year. Did. Okay, against the Cowboys, Cowboys won. And as well as well and as, as, well as game. San Francisco. We're out there doing all little wild ass shit. So I'm, yeah. after that, I'm done with Detroit. Uh, some people might say that's a na- that's a lazy analysis. No, what I'm trying to say is that this Detroit will beat the bad teams. They probably might beat the Bears. We probably still be bad. They're gonna beat up on Minnesota. What I'm trying to say is that when the shit hit the fan, how the kids say it, and all other crazy stuff, rub hit the road. You cannot be doing wild shit, excuse my language, against, against good-ass teams. Possessions are very important. You just can't be out there just doing Facts. all Willie Nelson. You got to know Facts. when to roll in. Know when to hold in. No, you can't be out there gambling, man. You know what I'm saying? So, no, you, you can't do that. And I just feel like he had too much of a gambler. I mean, I against know. Against good team. Against Facts. good team. You no, know, Riverboat Ron, Ron Rivera. Used to gamble. Well, a lot of times when he would gamble, his team was not that good, or he had a good team losing to a team he should not have been losing to. So, Ron Rivera would take a couple of risks in Carolina Day and then Washington. Detroit would be winning by seven. This dude still go for it. Like, come on, dude, calm down. So, I just don't trust, you know, I just. Dan Campbell. Dan, I, I think he's a great coach. I just think he takes too many risks. So, I think that's going to come. Unnecessary risks. Unnecessary. Risk. Right. And I think, yeah, Detroit might win two games this year that they shouldn't win because he goes for it again on fourth and inches with two seconds left in the game and don't want to go to overtime. Yeah, they might win two games like that. But guess what? They're going to lose three four, more, three or four other games that they shouldn't have lost. So that's, I'm just done with taking them serious uh, because of that. Also, if you ask me who I, do I trust love more than golf, I trust love more than golf. So when it gets to that type of situation, if you notice what I'm saying, I'm not saying that Detroit don't have talent. I'm not saying that they're trash. Right. I'm, I'm just, saying I just don't trust them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't trust them. There's too much shenanigans and, you know, juggling and, and BS going on both time Bill. I just don't trust them, man. So I trust Green Bay. Go ahead, both time Bill. I trust Green Bay. I got them I mean, in the I, vision. Ju- I, I, I just believe that, you know, the experience, you know, uh, they're going to, you know, they've been in the off season. They're going to go back. And, and and look at everything, mm-hmm. you know, and calibrate. Okay. And yeah. I believe I believe they're gonna make the adjustments, <laughs> you know, and they're gonna battle again in San Francisco. It's gonna be San Francisco, Green Bay, Bowtie Bill. You're talking uh, and the okay. Eagles, My right? Fault. Those yeah. are the four teams mm-hmm. that's gonna be battling, uh, right in uh-huh. the uh, in the division rounds going into the uh, conference finals in the NFC. Both I Bill, you're talking like a, a – you're talking about the whole team. That's what you're doing. And what I'm trying to get you to realize is I'm not talking about the team. I'm talking about the coaching and that one player, the quarterback. Yeah, everything you said is factual, but I just do not trust the coach. So I got Detroit coming second. I got the Bears coming third. And then I got Minnesota, Minnesota coming fourth. Okay? That's, that's how I got it. Now – I will say this. Uh, I haven't looked at Detroit's schedule, but Detroit better handle their business because I can tell you this right now. And remember, I told you guys this before the season started. Detroit, I bet anybody any money, Detroit will not, will not. Oh, you ready for this bet? I'm up there. I'm listening. Oh, you you start rocking in your chair. Yeah. That's that <laughs> yeah. I bet anybody any type of money, Detroit will not, will not. They definitely will not sweep the Bears. That's not going to happen. They're not going to sweep the Bears. 
Detroit. No, for, they're not. They, they, they Detroit, they're going to split. They're going to probably, if that, we might sweep their ass, real talk. Okay. That that's can that can definitely it take probably we have a better chance of sweeping them than they got to be sweeping us. The only reason why I say that, the only reason why I say okay, it'll split, okay, is because you have a rookie quarterback. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you, it's about matchups. Like you know, like you know the AFC North, Detroit. We should have swept them last year. Now we beat them once in Chicago and we beat their ass. Okay, and this wasn't early in the year. This is when Detroit was rolling. Trying to fight for the number one seed with San Fran. I remember. They came to Chicago and it was Locked. never close. Right. It was never close. Took an it was L. never close. Like 27 13, and the 13 they got was like a late touchdown, some BS. Right. And then um, we was whooping A behind in um, no, er, no, late November. We was killing them. We was up by 12 with four minutes left, and our coaches just played prevent the last four minutes, and we just gave that game up. So we should have beat Detroit twice. So Detroit is not a matchup. They don't want to see us. So I tell you right now, we're not scared of them. And our defense has gotten even better. And our offense has gotten even better. The only thing that what might be a, a step back is Caleb might not be as ju- good as Justin Fields was when he played it in that game. Right. There's a good chance that he probably will. And if Caleb is not, if he's just 70% of uh, Justin Fields, we're still will win because our team is much better than it was last year. Now, people can say Detroit got better. Detroit still tell you right now, their secondary going to be real shaky. Go ahead. My fault? No. When you pull up, when you pull up your schedule, all right, because, we about to do it now, right? Because Caleb Williams played in Oklahoma, mm-hmm. Warm City, USC, Warm City. Mm-hmm. When do you play Detroit in Chicago? You know Caleb Williams from you do know he, that boy is from Baltimore, Maryland. He played in cold weather. Okay, well, no, yeah, yeah, it's cold. High school. He went they play all four years in high school. He cold weather city. They stopped playing they stopped playing football in November in high school. Okay, it's still get cold. Trust me. That part <laughs> okay, of the town okay, is still get cold. Okay, okay, so trust me. So right, okay. I'm actually really worried about the right, weather because okay. his arm is strong okay. enough, but we're gonna get to Oh, he has a strong yeah, arm. Yeah, he, yeah, he got a strong arm. arm. So yes, he does. He we has about a to do this prediction yes, on yeah, of them bear the bear schedule. Okay. I'm not gonna deny that. Yeah, so we're gonna I'm gonna put it this way because I don't want so we're gonna. I'm, I should. I should have picked another schedule. But hold on. Let me get this back on camera with us, because I sure. want to be able to Take get. Uh, uh, I guess I could. You know, do. Mother, go ahead. Chicago, to your point, being a wild card. I still say Jordan Love is a wild card, the mm-hmm. most important wild card. Caleb Williams, forty percent, fifty percent is gonna be off script. <laughs> is he gonna stick? Oh God! Here we go with that. With the offense coordinator, so 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 so, because in college, oh God, he did a lot of off script. No, he did not. That's such a negative negative. That's that's not fact. No, yes it is. Yes it is. It's so fact. can I ask you a question? Yes it is. If you do something, USC, it's not a fact. Under, under no, Lincoln Riley, no. under Lincoln Riley at USC, he had a he Watch had the majority of his plays off script. He did. I'm gonna let you talk. Right. It's not factual. He looked like Kay, he he he, okay. he looked like Kyler Murray. Okay, you ready to be wrong again? Because you know I'm, <laughs> you know I'm the shy guy. You already know you' about to be wrong. You sound. I'm listening to you, you shy guy. Thank you. you. I'm listening to you. you sound but I'm like telling you. Okay, I, I thought I was my I turn to talk. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. yeah, yeah get yeah, it yeah, all no, out. Watch this get game. it all out. I'm get it all out. Go ahead. Watch the game in USC and SC. Okay, right. Southern Cal. Right. A lot of play was off script. Is he going to be on script mm-hmm. when he gets to Chicago? Okay. Do you have – okay, question. Do you have a new offensive coordinator? He's been talking for three minutes. I still can't rebut on none of this, but go ahead. Go ahead and rebut it. All right. Can I can – You can't refute it, but you can rebut it. No, I can refute it because what you're saying is you sound like a typical fan who I don't like to talk sports to, and you're better oh, than that, Billy. Wow. You're about to lose your guru status. <laughs> wow. Now, what reason why I can't talk sports to fans because most fans – they have a recency bias, and I'm I'm disappointed in you to re- regurgitate that bull crap that he can't stand in pocket. That's recency bias. Now, if you were to say his last year he did he run around, yes, but the man played three years of college, two years he stayed in the pocket, one year he ran around. So if two years you do something a certain way, and one year you do something a certain way, you can't say that he ran around more. No, that's proof, and that's proof in the pudding. Two years is more than one year. You do a cat, you do taxes. You know, two is bigger than one. So that proves that your fact, you know, what you're trying to emulate, is not factual. Now, did he run around a lot his last year at USC? Yes, he did. 
Oh, why is that? Oh, because his offensive line was trash. Also, he had no wide receivers that went in the top four rounds in the draft. Oh, why was he able to stay in the pocket his second year in college football and his first year at USC? Oh, because he had an NFL wide receiver. Oh, who was that guy? A dude named Addison that went first round to Minnesota. See what I'm saying? That's why I'm the shy guy. All right? You come up with that emotional last minute. No, he didn't have the same talent around here. So, you go, you got to play different because the kid wants to win. All I know is when he did have serviceable college wide receivers and guys that's going to play on Sunday, he stayed his behind in the pocket longer, and he delivered the ball on time. So, that narrative is not correct. Shy guy right again. Now, let's get back to what we was talking about. I just ate you up on that boat. No, you did. Okay, what was I wrong because, with? What was, name one no, thing no, I said. No, 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 you weren't wrong with anything that oh, okay, you said. okay, go ahead. All right, go ahead. You weren't wrong with anything ahead. with what you said. All right, go ahead. Right? But I don't know why Jerry Rice's son didn't go in the top four rounds. Because he ain't he that good. Yes, no, he's he not. Is. That's, yes, I'm glad you're not a draft. Yes, I'm, not, I'm glad you're not yes, a GM. All right, let's get to yes, the Bears. Let's really Billy stop. You know Come on, Billy. No, <laughs> that kid. No, we talking about Caleb Williams. Jerry Rice's son was not that good, bro. So reason why he went fourth, fifth round. He was not. I'm sorry. Okay. He got, so, he got a great name, Jerry Rice. <laughs> so what I'm he saying. He got a great name. Right. He was running around in Lincoln Riley's system. All right, let's let it go. Let's get to the draft. Right, we've done this. Great. Let's get okay. to the. Right. What Him running around Lincoln Riley's system the last year. You've already got your piece off. I got my piece off. So you're saying you think he's going to keep running around. Now, if you want to say that, then I can't change him out. You think he's going to keep running around. Yes. All right, that's cool. You got that out. All right, let's get to the season, please. All right. I, I, he got to write to his opinion. Remember remember this podcast, uh, yeah. family members and yeah. friends. Hit, yeah. your, hit, hit your likes, your dislikes, and your comments as well. We welcome it all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to tell you this, and then you want to talk about Kayla Williams. I've already told everybody that, that knows I'm a Bears fan, I don't care what Kayla Williams do the first eight weeks of the season. I am not judging him. So if he can run around, he can throw 14,000 picks, he can get his head busted. I really do not care. I just want to see him get better. I personally am not judging uh, Kayla Williams not until week nine. Okay? That's usually, that's what I'm expecting. That's just me. So you don't have to have the same rule. That's just me. Why week nine? Because of the fact I do I do believe that he's going to have some bumps. I do believe that. He's a, he's an effing rookie, bro, Ty Bill. He's going to have his bumps. Right. I do also believe that his learning curve, I am expecting for his learning curve to be out of this roof. I do expect for his learning curve to catch on faster than the average guys. You know what I'm saying? And if you just look at the last, I guess you say, decent quarterback, uh, his last eight games, it was a rookie overall pick. Was uh, played pretty good with Sunshine. His last eight, nine games, he got better. And if you look at Judge Stroud, Stroud was an anomaly. He came in his first, uh, off the bat, balling, then throwing something to like week six, seven, something like that. But Stroud, no matter how good his numbers looked in the first seven weeks, eight weeks, go look at his numbers the last nine weeks. They were even better than it was when he started. So that's why I'm like, whatever he started off first eight weeks, I. I'm just looking at his gravy, icing on the cake. I don't want people, ah, oh, I told you, you ain't act nobody. You know, because people have recency bias, and uh, people also want inst- one business to have an instant. I'm not going to put you on the spot. Have an instant appendix to the last part, please. People are recency bias, like this guy here about him running around last year, and people also want instant gratification. I'm going to let you know I'm not expecting instant gratification, Kayla Whitney. Go ahead. Right. CJ Stroud, offensive coordinator, came from Kyle Shanahan. Mm-hmm. He came with D'Amico Ryans, who was the defense coordinator mm-hmm. uh, from San Francisco, who was the head coach. Right. Right. So they run the West Coast offense. And I, I apologize if I put you on the spot, but I, oh, I'm quite sure you know. I might not. <laughs> who's the offensive coordinator for the Chicago Bears? Bears? Uh, the guy from Seattle. Oh, God. What's, why do I say Wallace? Why? He um uh, he he he's called plays for a long time. He's been and he had, I want to say he came out of that San Francisco. It, it, um, he's been done more. He so it's not his first year. No, his first year was Chicago, which is great. I'm happy about that. We got rid of um I can't uh, what's his name Getsky, whatever his name is. Chicago Bears. Um, you know the guy. Hold on. Uh, offense. I look it up. Yeah, take your time. So 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 they're yeah, learning. Shane Walters. How could I forget? There it is. Shane Walters. He, Shane Walters. Yeah, yeah. He play, he coach. He uh, 
He was out in Seattle for the last think, two or three years, and he, if he can make Geno look good, I'm very confident he's going to make Caleb look okay, really gotcha, damn good. Gotcha. He made Geno okay. look good, so stop right. the bull crap. Geno right. got paid off for his ass, but go ahead. Right, 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 right. No, 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 that's West Coast because that's yeah. what Pete Curl uh, mm -hmm. coaching. Right, right. Right, so, he, so he's West Coast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yo, which going to help mm -hmm. because West Coast offense is the number one offense that's being played. In the in the NFL anyway. Well, yeah, that part is definitely up. Uh, yeah, because I think yeah. what twenty three teams run the. That's uh, a lot. Coast That's offense. a lot of teams that definitely run. At least run eighteen it. teams I know run mm -hmm. the West Coast offense. At least eighteen teams. Yeah, and like I said, he's real big on two tight end sets. A lot of people know that. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to get out longer too. I want to get to the oh, commit. Yeah, he got commit. We got commit, and we also got my man from the Chargers. But Bears loaded. I can't, I can't even think of it. They got so much talent. I can't. You know the guy uh, from the Charger. We got their starting tight end. And so we're loaded, dude. Right. Like, we, hey, we're, hey, right. we're literally, you got we, you got we're literally Williams, probably. Who came dude, from the Chargers. We're literally probably in the NFC North, you know. You got you got um, teams that might have better talent offensive-wise, especially off his line. But I, I'm sorry. I think the deepest team in the NFC North is by far the Bears. And people can laugh. When well, you look at our bench, we got people that started from other teams that can't start now. Like the starting right. free safety for Green Bay, Amos, who's uh, married to the woman that's on the Olympic team, he started for he Green came Bay. From, he came from the Texas. Okay, but he started in Green Bay for the last four right. years. Guess what? The, he, the Bears picked him up for free agents. Uh, named Amos, I can't even name. And he's the backup. He can't even start. He's going to be our – the Green Bay starting safety last year is now our backup. So read between the lines. We're fucking loaded. Now, um, hold on a second. Now, you was asking me – uh, tight end from God, what is it? Um, right uh, from yeah, um, you know him, uh, Chicago Bears tight end. You know him. He came. He came from um, Chargers. Came for the Chargers. He number number seven. I can see. I can see his face now. I gotta pull him up. But that is. You I also got Williams from the Chargers. Uh, that's what I'm talking. No way. That's a wide receiver. Hold on a second. Uh -huh. Got to I got to I got to bring both our bill in. He got he's all over the place, but I'm over, I got him though. I'm all over. <laughs> <laughs> you all over the place. Uh, Mercedes, look. Oh, Gerald Everett. How could I forget? So Gerald Everett, if you guys know who he is, he's a big boy and he kind of kind of slim, so he actually can play slot receiver too. So anyway, Shane Wilders like to run two tight end set and right. Um, we have three tight ends. You know, Mercedes Lewis called the Bears. So you know what? <laughs> I see what y'all trying to do. I am retiring. People don't even know that. He came back for like a month and right. a half. He just called the Bears up last week. So we got three good ass tight ends. Three. Mercedes Lewis. Okay, so let's go through the. Okay, so let's go through the. Oh, uh, now you want. I've been trying to get yeah, to the schedule for long, yeah, but you yeah, kept yeah, prolonging. Yeah. You wanted to talk about <laughs> offensive coordinator. Boy, you dirty ass dog. Boy, I swear to God. I've been trying you know to get to the schedule. But well, let's you, go through the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, yeah, you want yeah, to yeah. Yeah. You see how much time? Yeah, you ran over. Let's get to it. Yeah, Bill took us over 30 minutes, and I had to debate him on everything. Now he want to rush me when I'm kicking his ass in the debate. No, you're not. No, you're not. But let's get to it. You started with the whole, oh, all he do is run around. I had I took the bait and I had to check in on that. Then you <laughs> want to talk about the offensive coordinator. You just trying to keep shitting on the bear and I keep letting you know. Ain't no boo-boo over here. You stop that garbage. All right, here we go. First game go. of the season. All right, so we got Tennessee in Chicago, 12 o'clock game. Bowtie Bill, what do you think? We win that game? Yes. I think we win that too. Yes. Week two, going to be tough. We're going to Houston. No. In Houston. That's nail. Mm-hmm. That's an L. Totally agree. Then we're going to lose that one, too. Uh, then it's going to be pretty tough. One and one. I think that, uh, I think that truth be told, there's, there's something I want you all to realize about this game before we move on. Um, this game right here. Bitch. This game right here. Remember I told you all this. Y'all going to laugh when I tell you this. Both I'm going to get you on camera and i say this. When they play Houston game two, that is going to be. You ready for this? You ready? I'm listening. That's going to be the Justin Fields revenge game. I'm gonna let that sink in. I'm gonna see you see the angle on that. Justin Fields revenge game. Yeah. CJ Stroud and Caleb Williams is a Justin Fields revenge game. That's gonna be the Justin Fields revenge game. I'm gonna see clue me in. You want me to clue you in? Yes. Okay. You gonna make me pull up the uh, Instagram? Guess who's in Morocco together training? Who? Justin Field and DJ Shroud. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. So they're in Morocco. Yeah, training, working out right now. 
What quarterback coach I wanted is? The one, uh, the I hate one, to say this. One, I just saw a brother California. running out there with him, but he was training their ass up. Okay. Yeah, he was, right. They right. were sweating. All right. Now, yeah. do you? Now, it, it may be. It may be the number one quarterback coach. Forget all that. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. want to go too long. Okay, okay, I don't want to go too okay, long. Right, 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 I know you're right, going to get, get deep into the wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No disrespect. Okay, they don't okay, need to know. Right, I know. Right, I know. Right. We don't want to get too deep on I got you. I now, got you. here's a question that I'm surprised you didn't ask. What the hell are they doing in Morocco together? Billy Young, you can't put the tea leaves together? That's why I had to put the tea leaves together for I'd be coming back with all the tea. How the, how the, how the kids say now. Nah, they Clue me in. They both played at Ohio State. Okay. And them boys are like this, my boy. Them boys are like this, for real. Ohio, it's like Texas boys. You know, y'all going to be like, you know, come on, man. I'm around, you know. And, you know, and, and they both are tired of that narrative that Ohio State quarterbacks can't make it in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? So they, they work out together. So I got a funny feeling. Strout is, is like, yeah, when I see that Caleb dude and he coming to Houston, I just, I'm telling you, I think Strout going to be like, yeah, I got something for that ass. Okay. I think I think he was. That's I, a that, that, but, that's a different angle. I I think they gonna. I think I just want, don't want it to get ugly. That's all I'm gonna say. I think Strong gonna Strong gonna want. Let, let me just say them. I think CJ Strong gonna want them real bad. I think well, he gonna want them. It's gonna be an ill either way. Yeah, yeah, but you know, the reason everybody's why already I comparing Kayla to him and can Kayla and Kayla already said that he wants to have a better season. CJ Stroud. He's on record saying it. Mm-hmm. You know, Caleb, don't run for the smoke. He talks he talks too much. Well, in Chicago, we kinda like it. We tired of the good guy. We like, fuck it. Let's take let's have an asshole quarterback. Yes, he either, is. He, either he gonna do ball out hey. or he gonna look stupid in the mug. Hey, we we had all the good hey. guys. We had a bunch of nice guys. But he's he, he he gonna, he gonna back it up. I think he gonna he like he wants to smoke. Okay. Yeah, he wants hey. to smoke. Hey, so anyway, game three. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, yeah, we going to Indianapolis, Colts, baby. Games in Indianapolis, baby. Yeah. What do you think about that? I got the Colts. You got the Colts. Okay, this is what I think. Running back. This is a very tricky game for me. Anthony Richardson, yeah. This is a very tricky game to me. And the running back. I do not believe Anthony Richardson will be able to pass on us. Our defense is ignorant. So here's the thing about it. If Anthony Richardson gets 70 yards rushing, we lose. If he gets less than 70 yards, we win. And I said we will contain him so the Bears will win that game. I just I got I got, I got the Bears winning that game. So I got the Bears 2 and 1 because I just don't think Anthony Richardson can beat us, but you never know. It could possibly happen. I got 1 and 2. You got 1 and 2. Next Rams in Chicago. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. What you got, Bowtie Bill? Who you got, Bowtie Bill? In Chicago. Ooh, that's a good game right there. Yeah. In Chicago, baby. And look at the start. What have I told you about West Coast teams? I'm going to pick the Rams. You a devil is a lie. That said, <laughs> it, wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me that the Bears win. Bears will win that the game. The only reason why. The Bears will win that game. The Bears are going to win that game. We can bet that right now. Uh, we can put a clause in right now. Longest uh, both starting quarterbacks are healthy. The bet is locked in. The Bears will win that game. The Bears will win it. They'll beat the Rams. They'll beat the Rams. I got the Rams. Yeah. All right. We can do that. Right. Fit it out. Right. Fit it out. Longest both starting quarterback play. Fit now, both times. Cash that was there. Yeah. We, we always have Why? 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 What, nah, yeah, what did you I miss, Bill? What did you miss about that? Well, the I've Rams, because. Why well, am I so confident? Why right. am I so confident, Bill, Bow Tie Bill? Come on. And the wide receivers. No, you're missing the Bow Tie Bill. Look no, at the I'm screen not, again. No. I, you, I'm, no, when I say this, you can get it, this is your chance to get out the bat if you no, want to. You no. ready? I'm not bagging uh, on no bet. No. All right, you know why? You know we get them. You do not, you, I do not bet on the Rams. Matthew Stafford. Okay, you won't let me get it out. Go ahead. Go ahead. He wouldn't let me get out the whole thing about uh, Caleb, and I wound, he wound up being wrong about that. Tomorrow he ran around all his whole year, his whole life, and it's only one year. Bowtie Bill, I do not bet on the Rams in 12 o'clock starts. That's what you're missing. It's a 12 o'clock if they start. Were, if they were going to the East Coast. It doesn't matter. I don't like they're that. Going to the, they, they're going to the I'm going to tell you how that's going to happen. The Bears are going to jump out on the Rams early. Bears, the Rams are going to wake up in the second half. It. They're going to wake up in the second half, and they're going to come back, and the Bears are going to barely hold on them. Man, please. Yeah. Family members and friends. And the Rams defense the will bet. not be that good. Yeah, right. we heard the bet. Yeah. Listen to yeah. us. Okay. You heard the bet. So I got the Bears 3-1. and one. 
You got, got them two one. And, no, no, you I got, got one, one and three. three. You got them one and three. I got them one yeah. and three. I got us winning, beating the Rams. All right, so week five next, boom, Carolina. A win, two That's and three. I got us. Me. I got us four and one. Okay. Uh, got you got two them two and, and three. three. Right. All right. Next, Jacksonville. Oh, that's an L. And that game is overseas. Yeah, that's an L. That's, a, that's an L. I yeah, think, for the I Bears. Think, I think it's an L too. So you got us what two and four, and I got us four and four three, two. four and two. Y'all four got us two. four and two. Y'all got us four and two, and you uh, got us what two and four, two and four. And I got us four and two. All right. Next, then we got a. I think the buy. Yeah, we got a buy. We got Washington. It win. Mm-hmm. We definitely. I think so we'll I beat them. Two, I got, so I got you uh, two. Uh, three and four. Three and four. I got five and two. Okay. All right. I got, oh, all right. I don't have it on there. We got Washington. There it is. Mm-hmm. We got Washington. And the game for that was Jacksonville. Next, Arizona. Oh, that's a win. All right. So what you got? Four and four. Four and four? You got six and two. I got six, six and two or six and three? Six and two. Six and two. Okay. All right. Six and two. All right. I know I got a loss to I got four and four. You Jacksonville. I got a loss to Houston. Okay, okay, you're right. All right, you're right. Okay. 62. You got 62. I got I, four and four. You got four and four. Next, we already did Arizona, right? Right. Yeah, we did Arizona. Next. 62, four, four. Yeah, we did. Next, New England. Oh, five and four. Mm-hmm. That's seven and two. For I you. got seven and two. Yeah, yeah. I got five and four. You got five and four. All right. And next, okay. So I got <laughs> New England. Make sure I bring my mic up a little closer. All right, next, no, Green no. Bay. Uh, what was that game? That game is in Chicago. Yeah. I got seven and two. You got five and four. Right now. Mm-hmm. I got Green Bay, man. You got Green Bay I in Chicago? Bay. I got I, yeah, he's gonna not play. Yeah, in yeah. Chicago. Yeah, he's not gonna not play Jordan Love. In Chicago. In Chicago. All right, okay. So I got I, five and five. All right. So this one is the I trickiest five one five. for me all season. All right. I'm expecting week 11, by this time, Caleb to start playing better. But, remember when I told you this. If the Bears are 7-2, and two, like I said they are, they will lose this game because Green Bay going to play out of their mind because they can't let us run away with the division. All right? If Green Bay has the better record, then the Bears will win this game. But, based off of everything looking right now, I will probably have to say the Bears might lose this game because – it means more to them, Green Bay. But if you go look at what Jordan Love did against Green Bay, that last game of the season, it was not that good. Our defense was on his ass. But I'm going to go ahead and give us the L for that. Because that's 73 right now. All right? So that's an L at home. That's an L at home. Uh-huh. I got Seven, it. In three, L at I got home. five and five. You got five and five. Next, Minnesota. That's a win. Yeah, coming so, to us. So I got, I got six and five. All right. So I got, got I got I got I got eight and three. Okay, I got eight and three. All right, next at Detroit. Oh, L. That's I got good. six and six. Is that Detroit? I got. I'm gonna six go and ahead six. and give us an L. But well, we're gonna definitely That's eight and four. We definitely beat that ass in Chicago. They're not. We're, we're gonna, worst thing we're gonna do is Detroit split. They're not. Right, they're right, not right. Going. So I, I, I got eight and four. I give us an L. Eight and four. I got six and six. I give us an L on that. It's going to San Fran. Oh, L. Definitely. Like, <laughs> you, oh, oh, that's how you feel it? All right, you mother sucker. Yeah, that's an L. Mm-hmm. That's an L. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We both agree on yeah, that, that's right? A, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an L. Hey, hey, hey you want to toast to that? No, I want to toast to that, you raggedy mother sucker, you. Eight and five, you raggedy mother sucker. Raggedy mother sucker, you. Anyway, oh, I got eight and five. Seven. I got eight oh, and five. Yeah, you got eight and five, I got six, seven. All right, next, Minnesota and Minnesota. Oh, well, we oh, sweep Minnesota. No, no, y'all, y'all ain't splitting Minnesota. Y'all gotta win that. Okay, so we, we'll sweep them. You are gonna sweep them? Yeah, okay. I right, both that. I think so too. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got seven and seven. All right, so I got us now nine, nine and five. That's nine what I got. Five. I got nine I got and five. Seven, seven. All right, so let's go. We move, lose San Fran, mm-hmm. Minnesota, Detroit. Come to us. We're winning that. Detroit is not sweeping us, bro. I, I, you can cock I, 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 your head okay, out, you okay, know. Okay, They're not sweeping us, bro. They're not sweeping us, bro. Stop So you're 10 and 5. Yeah, so we're 10 and 5. I'm 8 and 7. 10 and 5. You heard okay. what I said? 10 and All 5. Right. Yeah. Seattle, coming to us. Yeah. 9 and 7. You 11 and 5. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Now, let me see. Green Bay last game of the season. Green Bay. Yeah. I got Green Bay. All right, I got Green Bay sweeping us, even though it hurts me to say. So, I'm thinking 11 and 6. Now, I'm going to tell you something. And what do you got them? 9 and 8. You got them 9 and 8. All right. You got 11 and 6. I got 11 and 6. It's on record, fam. Right. Now, people are going to laugh. Now, let's go back to this right real quick. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. There, to me, is three games that could really, really, really. And people might say, yeah, we went real fast over Seattle. I'm sorry. Seattle coming to Chicago on December 26th. I just don't see it. I'm sorry. Seattle not that's coming to Chicago. Game. That's a that's a third game. Oh, look at the time on that thing, too. 7.15 at night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I nah, them, them boys going to be ready to go back home, uh, them Seahawks. So I got that one. The game to me that me and Billy didn't agree on that I can make my pace go bad is – Jacksonville. And we both agreed on Jacksonville, so stop it. I got the, the Rams losing That's and that. the Bears and the Colts. So those are the two games that we did not agree on. Correct. Yeah, those are the two games we did not agree on. So basically, I, I, I'm going to tell you. 9, 8, 11, 6. Mm-hmm. Agree. Right, those are the two games we did right. not agree on. Correct. So going back to me is – if they could find a way to split those two games, the Colts and the and the Rams, you know, if they could find a way to split those two games, the Bears will honestly have a good chance of winning ten games. They really will. They will have a good chance of winning ten games. You had got eleven and six. I got my nine and eight. Those are the two games. And those two games, now, and if they lose both of those two games, then they will be dead nine and eight, like you said. They will lose. Those and if both they those win, games. they'll be eleven and six. So to me personally, okay. So you know, you're looking at ten seven, possibly ten to seven, and you know in the division, I was keeping track. Me and you both have the Bears in the division record being three and three. Right. This is why I don't think they'll win the division because me and you both think they're gonna get swept by Green Bay, split with Detroit, and they're sweet Minnesota. Right. So I do think I agree with you on that. All the division games we picked, we both was on the same page. So. Did you see two games? It's just those two games, you know what I'm saying? And it, and and the keep in mind, that could possibly lose both of those games. The only reason why I'm picking the Bears to beat the Rams, and anybody might be like, man, the Rams got a great offense, but the Rams lost some things on defense. I'm picking the Bears to beat the Rams only because that is a 12 o'clock game. That is the only reason. If that was a 325 game, hell no. I would not go against the Rams. Most time, West Coast teams start a little sluggish, but I will say this. The Bears in that game, kind of like what I predicted it when the Cowboys played Green Bay. The Bears in that game, they played the Rams. They better be up by 10. Because I'm going to tell you right now, what's the coach of the Rams? Uh, what's his name? He, McVay. He, yeah, McVay. He's going to go in there and make some adjustments. They're going to come back in the second half. So the Bears going to have to hold on. They're not just going to kick the Rams' ass in that right. game. They got to jump out early and just hold on to the league. So that's what we got, man. All right, Bowtie Bill, here we go. Bam, you ready? Will the Bears make the playoffs? No. You went, no, you know, went back and forth on this. Me, uh, I'm sorry. Green Bay and Detroit going to make the playoffs because yeah. you're going to have the uh, Cowboys, the Eagles, mm-hmm. and then you're going to have uh, in the South. That's one. New Orleans. We did it before. Now it ain't going to be New Orleans. It's going to be Tampa Bay. I got my three fingers up. That's okay. South. Okay. Somebody in the West, that's four. Right. And then two teams out of the north. Oh no, no. Yeah, yeah. I, I said that. That's six. So you still got one left, right? Uh, who who that gonna be? San Francisco. I already got San Francisco. I already counted. You got San Francisco. I already did it, Billy. Cowboys. I already got them counted. Eagles. I counted them. Detroit. Mm-hmm. Green, Bay. Green Bay. I already know how you gonna think. Atlanta. That's your south. I already counted them. Who's the, who's the seventeen? You said Atlanta. Yeah, I said New Orleans. New Orleans wouldn't. No. Uh, okay. Car, oh, no. 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 Car's Atlanta. Trash. So, who's the 17? Uh, the Bears. <laughs> you don't want to say it. <laughs> Rams. Fuck out of here. No, nah, we out here, though. So, you said it's going to be the Rams. It's going mean- to be two teams. Yeah, Rams. All right. I, I, I mean, let me tell you this. I can honestly say. Sean McVay, Sean McVay going to make the playoffs. Okay, he's missed the playoffs before. I can honestly say that I definitely trust the Bears over the Rams this he's year. He's been in the Super Bowl twice in the last five years. 
Yeah, the Pats don't got nothing to do with this year. Like, like I was trying to say, I definitely trust the Bears more than the Rams this year because of the fact that only thing the Rams have on the Bears, which is two major things, don't get me wrong, they have a better coach, have a better quarterback. But the Rams are kind of like uh, who's the team we talked about earlier? Um, the Rams, Baltimore. That's who the Rams remind me of. The Rams just have too many moving loose parts on defense. Now, if them young boys can come in and click early, they will be a problem. But I'm, I'm expecting a lot of shootouts for the Rams this year. And I just don't know how good that's going to pan out. Soon later, you're going to have to have some form of defense. You're going to have to have some form of defense. But it could come down. I could, I could see it now, that last spot coming down between the Bears and the Rams. I will admit that. Right. But right. Uh, I'm not saying the Rams are going to be trash. But, you know. It's going to come down to that. Yeah, I, I will. I will go. I'll give. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. You know, I'll give you that. You know, but are you playing them head to head? Yeah, that, that game might wind up being. And, that's, and, that, and those are the, well, that's one of the two games mm-hmm. that 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 we differ on. I mean, drawing back on it, that game might wind up being deciding the seventh seed and the fourth game of the season because of the fact. Me and you both feel the same way. The Rams won't win their division, and the Bears definitely won't win our division. So now we're pretty much fighting for. The seventh seed. Fifth, six, and seven. Yes. You know, so I could definitely see where you're coming from in that. So that game now, if you break it down like that, it might end up looking bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So now you I know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fourth game of the season. I mean, that's happened before. It's waiting. People, be, people be like, it's oh, we got all right? season. Then, then they're getting the season coming later on, and you and that team got the same record for the wild card, and then the tiebreaker be like, oh, we, they whipped your ass in week five. You be like, damn, we lost our season. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know, so this is why I say right. when you play um, interconference it, it's a game. game. In, in an interconference game, even if that team is not in your division, you need to definitely still take that. Well, they take all games serious, but I'm saying that, that, that conference loss can come back to bite you in your ass. Right. You know, and we've seen that right. happen to teams before, though. Right. So, Bowtie Bill, let's get on out of here. Tell the people what we need, baby. Man, thank you for everything, fam. Thank you. Uh, continue to uh, listen to us. Uh, continue to uh, subscribe to us as well. Tell every everybody that you know, your family members and friends. Tell the ones you like as well as the ones you don't like. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Continue to comment. And tell us what, what you really think about the Chicago Bears, <laughs> right? Claws up, bird down, the whole nine, right? And uh, we appreciate everything, and we uh, appreciate you, family. Thank you. Yes, sir, man. Job well done, Bowtie Bill, man. We about to get up out of here, my brother, man. Yes, sir. We want to tell y'all, thank y'all for watching the podcast, Tell the Truth Podcast 23. Can't forget about that 23, Michael Jordan. Anyway, <laughs> make sure you leave your comments. Shy Who God. Shy God. <laughs> make sure you leave your comments. Who you got winning the NFC North? Who you think is the wild card? Like what can what how can happen that can make it change that can change the division to go this way or that way? Give us your thought. Let's get a nice little health debate going on in the comments, man. Keep watching this on YouTube. I need to see who y'all feeling. Going to win the NFC North, man. Talk to us. Talk to us. Talk to us. Man, tell the two podcasts. We out here. Thank you. All right.